Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about converting from standard form to vertex form. But before we get into that, I want to just review some factoring examples. So I want to factor each of these. And if you'll notice with all of these, my a value is equal to 1, and they're all trinomials. So remember to factor these, I'm just looking for two numbers that multiply to c, which is my 9, and add to b, which is my 6. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 9, but then I want them to add to equal to 6. Well, 1 times 9 is equal to 9, and 3 times 3. And I see the ones that add up to 6 are going to be 3 and 3. And so with these that are in with uh, a equals 1, I can go straight to my factored form. And so I have that x, this is equal to x plus 3 times x plus 3. And now you notice I have the same thing written twice. I have x plus 3 times x plus 3. And so really, this is going to be the same thing as x plus 3 squared. Let's try another one. So here I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 16, but then I want them to add to equal to negative 8. So since they're multiplying to a positive 16 and adding to equal a negative number, that means that both of my factors need to be negative. So I have negative 1, negative 16, negative 2, negative 8, and negative 4, negative 4. And looking at these pairs and seeing which ones add up to negative 8, I see it's going to be the minus 4, minus 4. So writing this factor, it would be x minus 4 times x minus 4. And now since I have the same thing written twice, it's x minus 4 times x minus 4, I can write that as x minus 4 squared. And let's box these. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to try number three. So the answer you should have gotten here was x minus two squared. So negative two times negative two is four. Negative two plus negative two gives me negative four, and so I get this answer. So you notice all of these were perfect squared trinomials, and that's what we're really going to be working on for our lesson today.